Hi guys, today we have with us Ipsi, Ipsita. So Ipsita, we want to know about your journey from DU to Goa, from Delhi to Goa, Goa. how this happened and you left a few IMs to join Goa Institute of Management. So before yes. we go into that, I want to know about your background first, where are you from? So I'm from Lucknow but I've lived in Delhi my whole life and uh, I did humanities in school and later in my college also, I'm a philosophy honours graduate. So no commerce background, maths background whatsoever, but uh, I wanted to do MBA because HR was something that I was really interested in. So I decided to sit for CAT. Okay. Yeah. So then the moment person gives CATs, the only thing they think of is IIMs. Yes. So when this shift happened, why, why you selected GIM? So, so a couple of things happened. I sat for interviews for IIMs as well and other uh, GIM, KJ, all of these institutes. And uh, what I was looking for in it was something that in my GIM experience, the interview experience, it was very different. I felt like it was more focused on trying to find who, who I am as a person. It was more focused on that. So there was one thing and that I, uh, and I also, my cousin actually had a friend who was here. So I was able to speak to a few alums and they said that the alumni network is really strong here and uh, you know they really do actually reach out and there are so many events on campus you get to meet a lot of people. So I think that is what something that drove me towards GIM, the life outside of academics Correct, basically. correct, correct. And uh, see the moment you talk about you have left IIM, does not mean you left IIM Ahmedabad, no yeah, yeah, yeah. IIM, no ABC. Yeah. So you left the baby IIMs. Baby IIMs. And this debate is going on for the last few years, ke whether I should select a baby IIM or whether I should go for a college like GIM hmm. or Narsi Monji. So what, what, what to choose? So my answer is always very simple. See that's a new college, I'm a new college. It will take him further 10-15 years to establish itself. And here you are sitting in a campus which is already uh, 30 year old. Right. And with this kind of infrastructure. <laughs> so if you look around, we are at the viewpoint of the college and this is the most beautiful place. And you can literally, I think these are for lunch, right? You can have your yes, lunch there. Yes, yes, definitely. And this so. building is canteen or what is This, this? is the canteen. This yes, is a canteen so. building. So this is a view you are getting from the canteen. So, and having your lunch here. So, yes, all these things does matter. Anyway, it's a very small aspect. I, I don't want you to select a college just because <laughs> the campus is good. It's obviously the, the faculty and everything. Yeah. And because the campus is 30 year old, so your alumni network, the company is already set. Exactly. Co college don't need to push that much. Like the, the company is already set that who will come, will come for campus. Right. So right. for a new college, any new college, they have to set up from the scratch. Usko right. set up hone mein time jata hai. So even if you look at uh, I am Shilong, it took 10 years, 15 years ka time to establish itself. Definitely. So same way, we'll give due time. So, so my answer to this question is very simple. Uh, I'll ask your, your answer yes. as well. Yes. Is uh, if you are looking for a brand name, Hmm. Obviously, I in the long run, 15, 20, 30 down the line, I am the brand name will have a bigger effect. Definitely. And I've seen that when I went abroad, I'm from uh, JBIMS. Right. So when you meet any Gora, yeah. so JBIMS, JIM, okay, okay, okay. But the moment you say I am, oh, IT, yeah. I am, so that, that brand name obviously click. Definitely. So, but in your case, you wanted HR. Yes. So then it come to HR, I think GIM for HR, for uh, healthcare, yes. and all these things is, very, is doing very good. Yeah. Fine. So, uh, so what else you felt the difference between the uh, DU thing and coming Delhi se Goa kaise hai? <laughs> Delhi se Goa sir, sir exam diya, interviews diye, jaha whatever I felt was the best fit. I had a few picks, I had 6-7 picks to pick from Pitch post is. interview uh, but I chose GIM based on the conversation I had with the alumni and you know, so I used to see these videos day in the life of an IM student, day in the life of a, a KJ student and all. And I always used to get panicked because it was so jam-packed. And when I spoke to people so from GIM, it, it is, it is jam-packed. But when I spoke to people uh, from GIM, they said that it's also like there's so much co-curricular, extracurricular also going on. It's like a more holistic thing. Right. So that really matters to me because DU is all about personality development. So I had come from that background and I wanted that in my masters as well. Right, right. Yeah, very few colleges have cracked that code. 
to come out of the bricks of the room right ke classroom coaching the, the, the teaching doesn't end in the classroom teaching start in the classroom and yes. then have to go outside the classroom exactly. so this seamless environment of a uh, inside classroom experience and outside classroom is very important for a holistic definitely growth the way you said definitely so so it kind of a gim was a extended culture which was going on in du you felt the same kind of yes. culture going on so yes. that, that that made you choose yes that, that made me choose right yes. so then alumni network alumni you talk to the people yeah this is very yes. important yeah you talk to the college ka alumni college ka seniors yeah. and they can tell the real picture right and so they they can tell the real picture as well and they're mostly honest when you know speaking to candidates that's what at least i experienced i spoke to a few alums from other colleges who did not have very great opinions of their own colleges correct, right so correct. people are usually helpful honest if you reach them out on linkedin and everything correct, correct. so uh, i was able to gauge from the experiences of like two three alums that they had a good time at gim Right, they enjoyed right. their experience right, so right. and the placements were going up uh, as seen so right right, right that's right. why i picked and yeah. anyway it's always the i am versus non i am baby i am versus non i am hmm. is a dilemma it's not a problem because problem have a solution there is no solution it's all about <laughs> what you dilemma. want to choose definitely so again in this case we're not saying ki i am bekar hai ya ye acha hai ya wo acha hai is what fits you more it's a personal choice so correct, like correct, you said correct. uh I am tag would work better, but all what what in the long was, run, I'm yeah, in the long run, in the long run, yes. To, you are going to pass but in two years. But for me, my deciding factor was that this this is an established institute correct, that's correct, been here for thirty years, so they already have like sort of a groove of getting batches correct, in correct, and out correct, and correct. a flow of you know everything. A system is set, and then a system is set exactly. And uh, then again, I I felt like ten fifteen years down the line, my experience would matter more than the tag of my yeah, college. Need, yes. So uh, that's why I decided to go for GIM. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. So great. So all the best. Thank you, sir.